Good afternoon, Scott Riley, T3 Live. Welcome to today's recap. So today we came in and there were a lot of mixed headlines. Everyone was trying to make heads or tails of it. Bottom line is we gapped up. You know, in the, in the first 30 minutes, we pushed through the lower pivot high. We pushed through that 1328. Went almost as high as, uh, like, what was it? I think 1333, if not a little bit more. You know, in terms of spiders, we were talking about 133 to 133.30. I believe the high was like 133.94. And then you had a, a mid-afternoon pull-in, right? We pulled in. People thought we were going to fail. You did see some weakness, created a choppy environment, and um, wound up holding the majority of that gap. And then we closed okay. So if you look at some of these charts, you, you definitely have your have and have-nots. You definitely have stocks that are acting better. You know, we talked about how um, the markets pulled in below their 100-day, almost got to their 200-day, but there were some stocks that held the 100-day, that held higher, that showed relative strength, that are the best acting stocks right now, and they're the ones that really deserve the majority of your attention. So if you go to the chart of the SPX first, you will see that um, you know, here is that mini range that we talked about in Morning Call. Here is that, um, you know, let's make it bigger so you can actually see it. Um, this is, was, you know, the first of all, the measured move down to 1360, which took us down to um, the, the high probability area. This was also when the oscillator got to like negative 80. So we've rallied since then. We created this lower pivot that uh, started to constrict in the last few days of the, of, the, of the week. And then today we opened right by them and we pushed right through this 1324. Here's 1328. And we closed it, what, here this is 1332. Um, with another level coming up right here, the low here is uh, 1343. That's the next real macro point of reference. If you look at the spiders, you will see um, this is uh, definitely an out of sequence trade. It didn't obviously get that high. But if you go to your three minute, you'll see that um, you know, in, in the first few minutes of the day, um, if you use your uh, cash flow strategies or even gap analysis, you'll see we gapped up, tried to pull us in, pull us in, pull us in, and then and they couldn't. And then once we, the shorts finally let go a little bit, when we started to really get above this 133.30, you had a, a, a decent move of about 50 cents or so. And then it started rolling over. And then right here, you know, when, on this potent down bar, anyone that was trailing, so if like we talked about uh, on the chat today, like if you got in your tier one here saying, you know what, I think we're going to break above the pivot, I think we're going to go, you would have been in tier one waiting. Once it started to really break above that opening high print, which is around 133.45, you added, and then you take some off. You know, this was a 50 cent move, other stocks did better, and then you hold some. And then if you were trailing some, uh, right around here is where um, you, you should have pretty, pretty much got out. And if you didn't get out there, you waited, you probably got stopped out um, below the low of the morning, which rightly so. Um, if you're pretty risk averse, if you're playing tight, once it starts to get below the morning low of 132.96, who knows? It could have filled the entire gap. So at this point, very prudent to get out. So if you've gotten here, you made some, and then on this portion, you probably maybe lost a little or, 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 you know, or a wash. Uh, so this way, you play again a little bit later. And if you look a little bit later in the day here, you will see that um, at least you had a, a new point of reference. Okay, the low around... Uh, 130 was right here. The new low of the day was 132.83. Still holding a majority of the gap, still showing some power, not extreme power, not bull market power, not power as if Europe solved, not power as if none of our company's earnings are getting affected, not power if we're not going to have a you know, little mudslinging between um, both parties as we get closer to uh, the election, but just a tactic. Held a big portion of the gap. So you know, if you, if you covered great, if you got out of some of your stuff, okay, you could refigure for the afternoon. So if you go back to the chart of the spiders, you'll see, you know, then it will start going sideways again. And then once it really broke above this area, um, you know, it came back and tested a few times, and then it, it sort of closed relatively strong at 133.69. And if you go to the daily, you will see. Let's go to the SPX because, again, that's an out-of-sequence trade. Um, pretty, you know, pretty clean move. If you, if you gave yourself some room and some tactical cash flow in there as well. So we'll see how we open tomorrow. We'll see if we could get to this level or maybe even you know, push the envelope to 1356. What's going to give us some clues? Apple. I'm going to talk about Apple because Apple, to me, has been holding up the best out of, most, all, out of all high beta, really. You know, here is the 100-day reversal. Here is when we talked about getting a swing trade on, and now it's holding higher. So if you want to put like a bull flag type pattern here, here's the pole. Here's the flag holding the top third, coming into a big downtrend. So this will be game on tomorrow. 
what's going to happen here? Are we going to push through today's high of 574 to 576.50 and have a clean breakout, which will definitely propel the market, which definitely would add fuel to the NASDAQ, or are we going to push through and fail, kind of like what happened here, but this time it's a bit different because we have two days to consolidate this move, so we'll see. If we can get through with some power, it'll help the market. If we get through and shorts get squeezed and we fill this gap here to, to you know, 580 and, then, and it fails, then it'll be a push through failure because sometimes that happens in a weak market. But at least this is in the game. This stock is showing relative strength. It's above the 100 day, it looks totally different than Google and Amazon and Baidu. You look at Google, I lost money trying to short it today. Um, it, it's still weak. You see where it's at. It's below the moving averages. It's, it's hovering at the 200 day. Very hard stock to, to, to stay with right now, you know, with the, the technicals that it has. Amazon, a little bit better technically. Um, you know, it's, it's above the 100 and 200 with this gap. But once it starts to fill this, this gap from here, a lot of the pent up bullish momentum left. And it's still hanging around here. It's still holding this 212. I, I tried to short some and, you know, I, I got in a little early and it hurt me today. I lost some decent amount of money shorting Amazon. So now this is the new pattern here. You have, uh, you know, this is your 212. If it starts breaking below 212 and you see it really stay below, perhaps that's your short. But if they want to keep this market going, it is Amazon and you have two little levels here. Uh, I'm sure if you were short here and you think it has to go lower and if it starts breaking above, this uh, 217.66 could pop back into this range and you'll have to watch out, but we'll see what happens there. Baidu, um, you know, uh, decent day today, it's still in this lower range. It's not really popping above it yet, but it could, you know, for a trade as a macro position, I don't think it's, you know, so great, but as a, as a cash flow trade, it could start to do this, sort of like what we saw today in LVS. LVS has been battered and bruised and um, this particular point, it's trying to get out of this lower wedge to the upside. It closed okay. I do think it has room to 50, 53, maybe even 52. But that's, again, if the market wants to rally, and that's a big if. But as of now, here's your lower tight range. If you were short from here and you, and you were saying, okay, I'm going to wait to, to, to trail it and cover, this was a day that I would say, okay, you know what, let me book it. If I got short on this small little reversal day or short when it broke this rising channel or short when it broke 56, like we said, you should put a stop in or short when it broke this lower pivot below the 5064, uh, I would say don't be a chasa and uh, see if you could, uh, you know, make some money uh, to the long side here or, or at least cover. Um, wind still doesn't look like anything spectacular. First green day. It's trying to curl up a little bit. Um, it's been uh, just a horrendous ever since. Look at this now. This is a drastic outside there. This at least this is when it announced the Kotai, um, I guess, buildings or permits, whatever. Um, this was your day. You had to get out. If you didn't get out there, once it broke the, this big time support, you know, you, you had to save yourself some money. So if you did, now we're at the slower pivot. Market's trying to bounce. I, you know, it, it, it definitely could get to here for an oversold trade considering where we came from. So it's worth having on the radar for a, a cash flow move. Um, retail is really where it's at. I know I didn't trade it today. Um, you know, it, 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 it held again the 100 day as most indices almost made it to the 200 day. It bounced very quickly. It closed strong today. Um, it's above the moving averages. This is a macro investment. This is something that you could stay with on a macro basis. We've talked about that many times. On a cash flow trade, it also is pretty good. It's giving you a few different clues. Walmart, which happened to be, you know, my stock of the year, you know, my retail stock, look at this. Um, at new highs, it's had so many up days, big gap. I don't care whether it was my stock of the year or whatnot, because Google was my high beta, and that's obviously not working out well. There's a lot of trades in between. All I know is when this gapped up and it couldn't fill this gap and traded above this, technically it followed the rules and it went. Pent up energy, trapped shorts, um, didn't even wait, busting through as markets are coming in. Wow. Good, good job, Walmart. Target, uh, whew, this too, different than Walmart, but held the 100-day and a really nice move right back into resistance. Target, you know, looks really good. I wouldn't say it's just going to bust through new highs, but there are some things that look good. And this thing, if it could hold above this area, hold higher, it's in the cards. Um, it changed, remember here when we talked about this little downtrend, stock changed its character this year when it broke this downtrend. Okay, and then what did it do? 
you know, came back in, didn't even get down to there. So anyway, holding the 100 day, another consistent pattern that we saw. Look at CMG, CMG, what does that do? Wow, it held the 100 day, didn't get to the 200 day. And now look at that clean move. Relative strength works, best acting stocks act well on, on strong days. And there you go. Nice, clean breakout to the upside. That's in the game. That's still acting well. Um, you know, Under Armour also, guys, we're talking about today. Look at that. Held above the 100 day, so it's even stronger than Lulu because it went down to it. So again, relative strength works. Um, Macy's, um, not quite holding the 100 day, so that's why obviously it's not even back into resistance yet. Do you want to look at the tell the other side of the table, how gross JCPenney's is? Um, you know, just trying to be like a lower pivot trade, but look how, when you try and catch um, a trash for treasure tra trade or, or a bottom feeder trade, look how hard it is, okay? It's hard, even this LVS trade, it's not easy. You can't buy strength. It, it, it definitely, you know, just shakes you around a little bit. But then you look at some of the, again, like a CMG, pow, clean, Lulu, continuing, going. Um, let's see what else in the, in the retail arena were guys talking about that they had success with. Um, let's see, what did, what's like Tiffany doing? That wasn't looking so good. Oh, there it is. Not still not looking so good. But eh, for a cash flow trade, maybe it gets into this gap. We'll see. I know guys like Nike. What's that doing? Nike, look at that. You know, went through the 100 day, then reclaimed it fast. Sometimes they'll break a moving average to stop people out, but if they reclaim it fast, it's somewhat bullish because it gets people out, traps people short, and then you get a clean move. And Nike still looks good above the 200 day. But then you look at the banks. The banks are, you know, just trying to hold the 200 day. It, the banks just poked their head up a little bit today. So it's struggling to get to 1440, 1450. So why be there if it's such a struggle? XHB, look at that. Um, broke below the 100 day, reclaimed it in two days, and right back to where uh, it was a nice short for some of the guys here. So, cash flow wise, nice short. You know, if you covered into, saw the support going across, saw this day engulfed this day, closing above the prior high, you may be covered and said, oh, I'll play it for a bounce. Even if you didn't think you'd get all the way back here, sometimes if you do the right trade, um, you could be pleasantly surprised. And right now it looks pretty good. Home builders are still where it's at. Above the 200 day, now back above the 100 day, looking really good. Now, like those financials. And then, really, the, the, the easy trade of the day, which I didn't get because you had to you know, pay to short it and I was too busy catching up, was Facebook. Talked about the lower pivot it was trying to hold. Said if you're trading verse 3097, get out of the way. If it breaks out, you have a bear flag, you'll probably get continuation to the downside. Look at this Facebook. Wow. I drew this this morning. This was your poll, this was your flag below the pivot low of 3094, there's your continuation as it closed in the low. So now we'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see if there's any kind of action we could trade it for. Maybe you get some type of 80-20 trade. You guys all know what that means. That means it trades, you know, it opens up a little bit, maybe tomorrow up 20 cents, trades below 28.65. Anyone long it who didn't get out gets scared out. Anyone thinking it's gonna go down to 28 to 26 gets short there and then all of a sudden it comes down comes back, makes a little bit of a tail, and then maybe you get an oversold bounce. But if it doesn't and closes on the lows and goes through 28.65 and never comes back above and closes at 27, then you'll have to see what happens the next day. And at this point, I would not be playing the accumulation game of Facebook. I don't think anyone is doing it here. Same way if you did the accumulation game of Zynga, you know, you're, you're zinged. So hopefully that's not you. I don't think anyone in my community has been saying anything in the chat room about it, so that's good. You guys are learning. You know, if you want to try a level versus a level to see if it sticks, okay. That's the way to be risk averse. If you want to have a thesis and try and catch a falling knife and say, oh, I'm in it for the long term, you better have some pain tolerance. So all in all, you know, decent day. You, you, first time you could have bought it higher. It wasn't a screaming day. There wasn't heavy, heavy volume. So there is some more room to the upside. You have to figure out if you want to be there to play it. Same way, you know, it could be a little hard to start shorting too early. Um, you do have uh, end, of, end of the month in the next two days, so maybe they try and dress things a little bit. And again, you don't have uh, the election until the 17th of June. There's still some days that they can interpret things the way they want. So just don't be too big. Take some trades. Stay with the stronger stocks. And, and use the tier system so you could book some and trail some. That tends to be working.
Scott Relative to be live the recap. See you tomorrow morning at the call. Have a good night.